we're back to looking at the 2024 recruiting class, and today we're going to be looking at four-star running back prospect Daniel Hill. He's going to be announcing where he's going on January 6th, and it looks like it's between South Carolina and Alabama, according to the recruiting sites. We're going to be looking at his highlights. We're going to be looking at his 24-7 sports player profile page to get a good grasp of his scouting report. But before we do all that, you need to click your subscribe button, tap it with the finger on your phone, click it with the mouse on your computer, whatever you need to do, because we're going hot and heavy on the 2024 recruiting class so you can get a good idea of what these freshmen look like. You get a good idea of who you're getting on your favorite team so you know how your team is building for the future. Click that button. Stop missing out. But let's take a look at his 24-7 sports player profile page. If you're here for just the highlights, fast forward a couple minutes, you will get there. Daniel Hill, though, four-star recruit, RB6 in the class, RB16 according to their composite rankings. Looking to the crystal ball predictions here, it's Alabama versus South Carolina. That's just the battle right now. That's what they're saying. We also have Mississippi State in there. So we got a battle for him. Alabama versus South Carolina. Let me know where you think he's going to go in the comments below. I want to hear about that. But he's six foot one, 231 pounds. Big, thick, running back prospect we're looking at here. It's going to be interesting to see where he goes. Looks like Alabama might be having the lead here due to the crystal ball prediction, but that could be wrong. But Alabama does have a history of getting those big physical runners, but I could see South Carolina getting him as well. Let me know what you think in the comments below. He has 14 offers. Alabama, Mississippi State, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Auburn are all at the top there. Top tier Power 5 schools, SEC schools, Southern schools, all looking at him. Accolades here, All-American Bowl, and Alabama-Mississippi All-Star Game. Comparison, Connor Hayward. So, big physical guy. That's what he's got him compared to. And they're saying he's got a six foot one, 220-pound frame. That's what they got listed up there. They say he exhibits suddenness. A good route runner for a running back. Has average play speed and separation quickness in the open field, but lacks long speed. Shows willingness and physicality as a blocker. Flashes good play strength, so he's physical at the point of contact. Flashes some downfield of playmaking ability in the passing game, so he can catch the ball downfield. Looks like we got a solid running back here. Sounds like a bigger running back prospect who's physical. And then looking at the timeline, we got Mississippi State here. We had a visit there on December 8th. We had another visit to South Carolina in June. They're predicting Alabama in November, South Carolina in November, a visit to Tennessee in September. He's all over the place right now. But what we do know, he's a four-star prospect, ranked RB6 in the class right now, RB16 in the composite. We go over to 0-3. The rankings are vastly different here. You see for 0-3, 24-7 Sports, ESPN, and Rivals. But they all got him ranked as a four-star prospect nonetheless. Let's take a look at the highlights here. Let's see what we're looking at here when he's on the field. And then let me know what you think of him as a prospect. Just drop that in the comments below. But let's take a look of what we're seeing here out of Daniel Hill. So here we go. Good contact balance. Good footwork there. And he's moving fast enough to get the job done at the college level. That's what we're already seeing there. They said average play speed in the scouting report, but you're going to see that when you're six foot, 230 pounds. We're getting downfield, though. Here we go, right there. Good block. You're staying with your block. Staying with your block. Solid. He can move. He can move for a size. He can move. We got some decent size adjust athleticism. So what? We have a wildcat here. We're gonna fake it and we're gonna go. I get it. I get it. He's gonna be a load. He's gonna be a load. He's assertive and he goes. Watch him. Okay. I see what we got here. 
A little bit faster than advertised than what I was thinking from the scouting report. I'll say that. Long speed wise, I, they they can catch up to him a little bit, but he's explosive. He's getting that edge pretty good. He might catch up to him here though. He's explosive for size though. That's going to be a business decision. We getting downfield. Is that him catching the ball? There's a big size difference between him and the defenders. He's got some ball skills, too. There he is. He's going to go. He's got some turn there. He's fast enough, especially when you adjust that for size. He's not super big. He's tall. But you can tell he's cooking. He's going to be tough to bring down. There he goes again. Right through the line. Guys just slipping off of him. They don't want to tackle him. They don't want to tackle him. Here we go again. We're going to try and get to his edge, and we're going to go. Slips this side there. Tough to tackle, tough to bring down. That's what we're seeing out of here. That's what we're seeing. Woo! Watch this. Let's see what you're going to do here. Oh, no. There he goes. You got to go low to get him. You got to. Is that him catching it? Is that him? You guys ain't marking him off on every play. Is he returning kickoffs? You got that big guy re returning kickoffs here. Let's see him get the full... Oh, no. He's going to run somebody over. We're going to get that edge there. We got green in front of him. Look at the size difference. Oh, yeah. He took a bunch of dudes out there. Here we go. Up the running lane. Stiff arm. He's thick. He's thick. We got a thick boy here. I like him thick. Runs the dude over. There he is. He can move for size. Big man can move. They got him on the outside. For real. Sells the route. Look at that. Good hands. We're not seeing many running backs split outside like that. Winning downfield. And he's won downfield a few times. And he was listed there 230 pounds. Here we go. He's just rumbling. He rumbles and he's got burst. He stalls out at top speed. But he's got burst. And he adjusts it for size. It's intriguing. He's got a good turn too. Here we go. He's going to go. Follows his block. Here he goes again. Nobody wants to tackle him. He just runs the guy over in the sideline. I'm interested to see how he develops at the college level. I definitely see a role for him. He seems like an Alabama back. Those big backs that they get. That pillage forward and it has some mobility and moves well. He just, just seems like something they've had before. Just seems like a running back they've had before. Just those bigger running backs. who has got some sweet feet to him. He sees it. South Carolina's got some other running backs. There's competition at both schools there. He just fits the mold of some of those other bigger running backs we've seen historically at Alabama. He's got good size adjust athleticism. You adjust that speed for his size, and he's going to be up there in the percentile among running backs. He's got a decent burst to him, too, in the second level of the defense. You see him hit that second level, and you see him scoot a little bit, and then he gets to the third level, and that's where you see the top-end speed kind of stutter out a little bit. But again, he's 230 pounds. you got to make a business decision in that second level of the defense when you're tackling him. A lot of guys are slipping off. A lot of guys are not even attempting it. He's getting through there pretty easy. He moves laterally well for his size as well. And then he can also get downfield and catch passes. He's very versatile. They can use him in all phases. He can definitely be used on the goal line, short yardage. You can use him in early down work. You can use him in the passing game a little bit as well. Very versatile running back. Now, I bet you that's what they liked about him. 
during the scouting process. That his versatility, size adjust athleticism as well, because while he's developing, you can still use him. A back like that, you can throw him in there for a few series if you need to, because he's got that size to already compete at the college level and in that burst to make him dangerous in the hole. That's what I like about him. That's what I see on tape. I see a big physical running back who's got some kick to him. It's got some pop in the step that makes him very dangerous at the point of contact. Also has some good contact balance as well. He showed that on a few of those runs when he was able to spin out, hold that balance, and then get some more yardage upfield. He's a very good runner. He's dangerous. He's a guy that could develop into something more too. I'm liking what I'm seeing here out of him. Let me know what you think in the comments below when you hear about it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.